is for Calhoun at the 10 and is in for the score. A touchdown, 80 yards. West Bryan here with Duke football coach Mike Elko talking about a little bit of the Blue Devils' summertime plans. You came from some really good programs as you coached under some great coaches. What were some of the things that attracted you to the Duke program? Yeah, I, I just think we have a brand that sells nationally, and I think we've got a, a tremendously recognized university. Uh, obviously, we've had a tremendous amount of success in sports, basketball being specific, and you know, I believe we can build something really special with this football program, and I, I like where we're at, and I like where we're capable of going. Now, the key for any coach in their first year, got to find that man at the center. Are you any closer to doing that? And how vital is that to your transition into the program? Yeah, I mean, I think it's critical. Obviously, quarterbacks, the, the way the offense is going nowadays. And we've got two young ones that I think are really talented, you know, Riley Leonard and Jordan Moore. And you know, we just got to figure out how to get, get them to be a little bit more consistent. You know, they're both young, finishing up their first year on campus. Uh, but both are extremely talented and, and they'll both have really good summers and I think that battle will go on all the way up until game one and potentially even into the season a little bit. Now who are some guys that you saw in the spring that showed some potential that you're looking to maybe make some big summer games to make an impact once fall camp? Yeah, plays? yeah, I was really happy with some of the guys we had on the offensive linemen, you know, kind of led by uh, Graham Barton and Jacob Monk. I think those two guys had really outstanding springs for us. Uh, Jalen Calhoun at wide receiver and Samir Higgins uh, both showed out quite a bit this spring for us. And then, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, we've got two guys that have played an awful lot of football and Dwayne Carter and Shaka Hayward. And those two kids both we took to the new system and had big springs. You coach under Dave Clawson at Wake Forest. You coach under Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M, just to name a couple. What are some of the things that you learn from those guys that are going to help you build this program? Yeah, honestly, the, the funniest thing that I've taken, because I've answered this question a lot, is be yourself. I think, I, you know, between Dave Clawson and Brian Kelly and Jimbo Fisher, three extremely successful head coaches who do it completely different ways. And so, you know, obviously I've learned a lot from each of them. I think they've all taught me a little bit about how to run programs and sit in this chair. But I think I, I also learned that each of them just kind of did it their way. And there's probably no one right, right way to do it. You just do what fits you and what suits you the best. And as we sit here in this very moment, what's the state of the Duke football program and where do you feel like it needs to go from where you are right yeah, now? Yeah, I, I just think, you know, COVID hit us hard. I, I don't think we came through COVID particularly well. And, you know, we've got to get the roster back where, where we're comfortable with it being. We've got to get our numbers right. We're a little bit low scholarship wise. And I just think we've got some, some really talented young players that are capable of developing and we've got to do a really good job doing that.